Oh, weird. What? 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 What is this? That's not in chapter one either. She's in her case. What? 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 Oh my. Wait. Okay. Hey everyone, it's your friend Thing Noodles with Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 coming out in just two days. I thought it would be fun to look back on my reactions to the Poppy Playtime trailers for Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. And in doing so, I realized I never reacted to Poppy Playtime Chapter 1's trailer because I didn't actually play the game or know about the game until it had already come out. So that brings us all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> the original Poppy Playtime back in October of 2021. And yes, okay, there are trailers here. So let's watch them with the with the benefit of hindsight, having played this for, uh, uh <laughs> oh man, that's embarrassing, for 30.1 hours. <laughs> and, and having played chapter two and seen the trailer for chapter three, we go, oh, there he is, there, you know, okay. Now, I wonder when this trailer actually came out. Oh, the toys create, whoa, whoa, the toys created by the Playtime Co. Factory were always manufactured to spread happiness all around the world. The toy factory manufactured happy. <gasps> Yo, that's cool. See, already way, 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 way back, they were really good at this trailer thing. Dude, I think, like, if I had seen this trailer... Whoa, 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 so wait, <laughs> hold on. It's cool, it's cool, like, the way that they did this, like... We put safety first, use caution, if and when your grab pack retracts its hands during maintenance. Use your hands. Like, this just looks really good, and they've actually put almost every part of the game, because remember, Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 is super short. They've actually put almost the entire game into the one-minute trailer, because you can beat it in like six minutes if you speed, speed run it. Make sure that you don't get your grab pack caught in the machinery. Make sure you don't get caught. Yep, yep. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, that's crazy. Hold on. So I noticed something right there. His hand is blue and not yellow in the trailer. That's wild. And again, if we'd seen this before it came out, that's something I wouldn't have noticed. But yeah, they, they've shown every part of it. What? Wait a second. Is that a... Th I'm... Bro, wait. <laughs> so this was supposed to be just a trailer reaction, but there's going to be some gameplay in it because... I need to see if that is actually a thing. What? Hold on. So right there, if you turn around, you see Huggy behind you? No way. I have played that dozens of times and never looked back because of the stupid steam. I'm going to walk backwards through that corridor. I know exactly where that is and we're going to do it. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Grab pack for the day. You, you played, played with, with toys. toys. Oh, wow. Oh, that is quite a render. God. Now it's their turn. Wait, Braun? When is Braun animated in chapter one? It totally is not. To play with you. Yup. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, what was that thing where, where, hold on, where you're pulling it around? Yeah, we see Huggy, wait. What's that about? That's not something you do in the game either. That's not there. You can't do that. You can pull on the chairs. Uh, oh, weird. What? 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 What is this? That's not in chapter one either. She's in her case. Bro, so I, I'm thinking that that thing is wrong about what actually happens in that tunnel, but I'm going to go look. Because I have to know now, and definitely we don't see Poppy sitting in a chair randomly like that. Now available, uh, well they spelled available wrong, but uh, available for wishlisting on Steam. So, not sure when this trailer was published. I don't even think that's their URL anymore. Oh, and there's also this maintenance video here. Okay, do not continue viewing this tape. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so it's Poppy. Oh, so this is actually what we saw in that previous trailer. This is her sitting in the chair. So that's what it was previewing this video. How to maintain your Poppy playtime. Apply paint to her face. Wait, what? They gave like an airbrush gun to polish her shoes. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's shiny. Brush her hair. Okay. It's really curly there. I thought it was... Step. Blank. Blank. What? 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 Oh. Oh. My. Wait. Okay. I saw that coming in there and I thought that was the prototype's hand. But it's actually... A, a, like a, a scientist's hand. To, oh. Took out part of her... I, ew. Why is there fluid? Whoa, 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 what was that? Wait, did I say? Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. So they extracted something from her body there. She is all better now. Uh, I think you took her soul out. Uh-huh. Come on, do something. It's just sitting there. Oh my good. Poppy Playtime redacted. Okay. Oh, and the, it's Poppy's face behind there in the static, right? Like you can see her, her, uh, her face. Okay. And then we've got this. This looks accurate. That's accurate. It, probably accurate. Never looked that closely. That's accurate. Mm, yeah, you can play with these in this room, I think. There's Huggy Wuggy. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got to check. And, and then we'll watch the other trailers as well uh, for chapter 2 and chapter 3. But I need to play because I need to see if this is a thing. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Speed run. Uh, hold any button to skip. Yeah, you got that right. Skip. All right, wait, isn't it? Uh, oh, geez, it's been a long time. Uh, green, pink. It's always the same. Yes, okay. So, yeah, that, that, that block that they were talking about or that they were showing actually isn't even in here uh, and also you wouldn't even have two hands in here right this is where that block was all right here's the part we're looking for and first of all his hand is yellow you can definitely see it there which was the first like I don't know if this is true thing or obviously isn't true why can't I get in here all right now we're just gonna do this don't care about the steam come on I knew it! I knew it! That's not even a thing. Not even a thing. Alright, cool. <laughs> I thought I was crazy, but I know my Poppy Playtime. Now let's check out some of the other trailers. Turn on the power there. So that looks exactly the same. I mean, it's creepy music. Don't get me. Now, that door is right here is open I think so this is after we've already gone through here Huggy Wuggy has chased us through I think it's just a recap of what we've already done in chapter one of course this is where we knock Huggy Wuggy off and he falls to his death which is kind of sad because I want to see him in chapter two okay and then the door opens and Right. And that is it. <laughs> uh, this is what we've been uh, holding on to for, uh, well, looks like almost since Halloween. Waiting for chapter two, but also waiting for this trailer, which may give us a better idea or an actual date on when chapter two will come. But at the very least, we're gonna get a little more of a preview of what we're gonna expect in chapter two or, or what to expect in chapter two, uh, which will also release same time for PC and mobile. Uh, but here, right here, okay, so chapter two is pretty different, will be improved in terms of visuals and gameplay. 
uh, trailers in production. Lore will be expanding in chapter two. Uh, chapter two will be much scarier. Uh, more brain turning puzzles will appear and chapter two will be longer, which is great because you can basically speed run chapter one once you know what to do. You can speed run it in under five minutes. But I'm really intrigued by the much scarier part because like that chase scene in chapter one through the vents is terrifying. So we've got uh, two minutes left and I'll just, uh, well, two minutes plus what is it? A two minute countdown uh, before it actually starts the YouTube countdown. So it uh, looks like about five minutes. I'll go ahead and fast forward for you guys. 22 seconds and 22,870 people on February 22nd, 2022. I just wanted to see all the 22s together. That's kind of crazy that they all combined like that. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Oh, poor guy. Okay, that went a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Terrible things have happened. Where do I even begin? You are perfect. Perfect to lose. <laughs> You're in grave danger. She's watching your every move. So you better be careful. Mommy doesn't like guests. Oh my! It's been so long. Who are you? Ah! <laughs> this looks amazing. Flying a web. So she's a spider. Wait. So I. Yeah. When? You didn't give us a date. Are you kidding me? Wait. Is that it? Is that is it? Okay. All right. Why are these all Dan TDM videos? Dan, get out of here, man. Also, other Dan. Okay, we're going back. I was very kind to you by letting it run. Why? Well, I couldn't pause it. Actually, maybe I could have. But anyway, I was going to let it run through and not talk. I couldn't contain myself in a few spots, but there is a ton of stuff to look at. Hold up. We're I don't get, I don't care about this part. <laughs> uh, it starts here, obviously, with the slow motion. Uh, when we saw this screenshot or I saw this screenshot um, right here. Uh, like on the Discord and on their Twitter uh, images. And yeah, I, I thought this was our hand, but no, this is the hand of the unnamed new character Spider. I was thinking uh, that when we saw a little bit more of it, that it was going to be Kissy Missy, but it is not. Kissy Missy is going to be chapter three, maybe. Terrible I don't know. So have terrible things have happened. Okay, obviously, this is a new area. This looks somewhat puzzle based here. We've got like, I mean, this throws back to chapter one where we've got the train puzzle that gives us the uh, colors for the keypad. Uh, but these are different uh, because it was like green, pink, yellow, red, and there's no pink. Also, this clock has different colors that sort of match the train. I, I, it's got to be puzzle based. There's just too many colors on there for it not to be. Um, there's also a hole in the center here, uh, so maybe Solve the puzzle, opens the hole, then you go down. Where do I even begin? Um, this is just a hallway, obviously. So this is what another thing I was noticing. This looks like exactly like chapter one gameplay. We got the blue hand on the left, red hand on the right. We can open that door with the uh, with the red hand you there. Are perfect. But then it changes. So at some point, for some reason, we lose our red right hand and we get a green one. Now, this is a left hand. I don't know how it's going to go into the right, but you can pick it up. And now uh, what looks like to me is we switch hands and then wait a second. This is wait a second. So I'm noticing this. We our hand. We can use our hand to pull ourselves like a grappling hook. This left hand 
right? Is that not what that is? That's a grappling hook. Like, it's still the left hand that we're used to, but we're actually able to grasp things with this is what I wanted to do with 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 some of the mods with the no gravity mod that I put on my channel. If you guys saw that video or uh, where we had a no gravity mod, uh, this is what I wanted to do. But it seemed impossible where you could grab onto things and instead of pulling things toward you, you could use it like a grappling hook against the no gravity to sort of swing yourself around like, I don't know, I guess like Spider-Man with no gravity. Uh, but this Perfect is release. definitely that you are pulling yourself towards something. And yeah, this is what I thought. I thought Kissy Missy was taking Huggy Wuggy doll, but it is not Kissy Missy. And I, I mean, you should have known. I should have known uh, if I'd looked more closely because Huggy Wuggy's arm uh, and even as a plush is furry. This arm is not furry. It is slick and shiny. OK, and then so this is something new with this green hand. The hand is energized in chapter one. If you guys remember as well, you would put your hand on a power device and then your arm would be powered and it would power to the other arm and you could stretch power across. But in this, it looks like somehow you are able to capture power in that green hand and use it to power doors. And this looks so much like the do not enter door we went into at the end of chapter one. That was a vent. That is going to be, I think, a vent scene. I hope like the one in chapter one. One of the the best part of uh, Poppy Playtime chapter one was that vent scene. This is obviously a puzzle. We've got a green hand and a blue hand. We've got a red button and I think I saw a yellow button just before they turn. Yes, yeah, so there's yellow, green, red, blue. I'm not really sure how we're supposed to do red and yellow. Uh, and what is that? Who is that? That looks like Flowey. That 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 is definitely another character in the Poppy Playtime universe. It's a flower stick figure or something. Uh, oh, that's it right there, right here, lying on the floor. This is something we didn't see in chapter one. These are this is a new character. See, this is why I, we, we watched it three because I, I knew I was going to ruin it. There's so much detail in this thing, man. OK, and then again, I should have noticed. I mean, I saw pink and I think they did that on purpose that they uh, that they made this character pink because everyone thought it was going to be Kissy Missy. But she's pulling the doll. This makes me think of the daycare center in FNAF Security Breach, uh, obviously. Uh, and this what I'm thinking here is it looks like these little uh, rings we, we could swing on with our arms, maybe grab and swing. Uh, it doesn't show us a lot of. Oh, wait, there was something there chasing us. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't notice that before. What is that, dude? Is that a is that a pig? No wait, It's a caterpillar, right? It's like a, it's got one. It's got it's got. Yeah, I can see another set of legs coming out here. I mean, it's got like a piggy nose on it and, and there, but it's got like the what, what are these antenna? Are they antenna on? Caterpillars, I think they're antenna feelers, whatever. Uh, and I think this is the rest of it. This looks like it could be the rest of its body. So it comes out of the ceiling, wraps around there and comes here. Um, yep. OK. And then right here, is that a yellow? Oh, no. Oh, OK. All right. Right here, too. Wait, hold on. This is this is a this is a Huggy Wuggy, maybe a doll because Huggy Wuggy died in chapter one. So he can't be in this one. But this is a blue Huggy Wuggy here. This is either, a, I mean, depending on the lighting, a green or yellow Huggy Wuggy there. Oh, and and then is this Kissy Missy? Oh, you just we slapped Kissy Missy in the face. So this is another like, I think, puzzle or reaction type game where you've got to keep pushing them back, maybe slapping them back so they don't get you like whack-a-mole kind of. And they can come through any of these holes here. Uh, and it looks like, like I said, blue and maybe yellow or green. And then uh, we've got the that is a pink kissy missy right there. Oh, wait, there's another one here. What color is that one? That's uh, it's yellow or green. There's tons of them. There's like three there. So uh, I think you have to prevent them from coming out and getting you. You just have to keep slapping them. There's a cave system. What did we just hit there? Is that oh, we're swinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another instance where we're using the hand. Uh, this one's charged, but we're using the hand to to go to grab a handle and swing across a gap. 
Uh, yep. And then, I assume that this is the final scene, final boss, final escape. It's been so long. Yeah, she's, I mean, these are all legs. She's only really got four legs unless you count her hair. Maybe that's the other. Yeah, actually, technically, that's one, two, three, four. Uh, so that would be eight legs. Uh, so she is definitely a spider boss of some kind. Don't know her name. Post in a, so fly in a web. Obviously, we are the fly and she is the spider and we are stuck in her web. Bind to my soul oh. and being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. We owe everything to these children. This company and its toys are nothing without them. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co, I announce Playcare, <gasps> our very own on-site orphanage. A child should never be left unloved, never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in their closet. May Playcare bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to every child who enters these doors. Oh, that took a dark turn. What? No! No! Okay, wait. Okay. All right. So, uh, we'll just address this bit right here. Uh, the three stays there and yeah, it just goes to Mob Games' logo. So, the three stays there because obviously it's chapter three, but this! So, we're not getting Poppy Playtime chapter three in 2022. So to all of you guys who are posting in my comments constantly like, Hey, Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is out. Why have you played it yet? We're in 2022. Well, unless you're watching this in 2023 and maybe it's out. But <laughs> right now it is not out and it is not coming out this year. Now we can hope that it means January 2023, but it could also be December 2023. So uh, we've got anywhere between uh Five months and well, 17 months. Let's hope it's closer to five. Okay, so uh, let's let's just analyze real quick. Uh, it's not a super long video. There's not a lot in it. I mean, actually, there's more in it than you might think. I noticed a bunch of different things. And, and the first thing, obviously, is the Huggy Wuggy doll here. Now, we saw this in the Chapter 2 teaser trailer when we were first uh, introduced to uh, Mommy Longlegs. Uh, this... Huggy Wuggy doll was here and her hand came up and grabbed him, right? So we're seeing that again, uh, laying on the floor of the Huggy Wuggy doll. And then we go a little bit forward here. We owe everything to these children. And then we have Mommy Longlegs. And you'll notice, again, this is a doll, right? And these are symbolic of the first and second chapter, right? So in the first chapter, uh, Huggy Wuggy falls. I don't see any blood on him, but he falls and dies. He's in one piece, right? Well. Although, if you've seen my recent video on this, he may not have actually died. Uh, they they might have revised that, um, and he does look like he's in one piece. Uh, obviously, uh, Mommy Longlegs, she is dead, and you can see this is exactly where she was split uh, by the machine. This is the part that was taken by the uh, robotic hand uh, from the prototype and probably integrated into him. Uh, this is the part that was taken. This is the part left behind. She's dead and she is split into pieces. So that's just indicative of chapter one and chapter two, which could, again, we still don't know. Is Huggy Wuggy actually dead? You kind of might think it, but hey, maybe I, I, I still don't know definitively. Okay, now this part, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go away from the toys and and the and what happened in chapter one, and chapter two. We gotta listen very closely to this part, to what he's actually saying here. This is something we didn't know in Poppy Playtime lore. Listen closely. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co. I am so right there, founder of Playtime Co. This is Elliot Ludwig speaking. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co. I announce Playcare. Our very own on-site orphanage. So right there, first of all, it is the, uh, and also there's bronze head. It was right here. We didn't see that in Poppy Playtime chapter one or two. He got beheaded. <laughs> the poor dinosaur. I don't know what that means. That might be a preview for chapter three, but that's not important. I just thought I'd mention that because I know if I didn't say anything, you're going to be like, you missed bronze head. Okay. But 
more importantly, Elliot Ludwig, the founder of Playtime Co. at this speech, wherever he is at a conference or a press conference or a toy show or whatever, he is announcing, and I'm trying to hear the name, but he is announcing a Playtime orphanage. So Playtime is going to be taking care of orphan children or, or did at one point completely unknown in Poppy Playtime lore. Let's listen to what he calls it. Did he call it Play Co? We have, yeah, we got closed captions. Play Care. There we go. That's what we needed right there. So the founder of Playtime, I, I, I announced Play Care, like daycare, but Poppy Playtime. Also, not necessarily like daycare because they don't have daycare. They don't have parents to go home to. These are orphans, right? So they founded an orphanage called Play Care. Now, let's Our continue. Very own on site orphanage. A child should never be left. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This looks like kind of like a hat, but also like the same coloring as Boogie Bot. Now, there's a couple of other toys that we're going to uh, we're going to spot. I already see them. We'll get a little bit closer because I think they become clearer. And obviously, we, we got to talk about this mask. A child should never be left unloved. Never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in their closet. Right there. Okay. So that's another thing. So he says they should never be unloved, which absolutely true. And said they should never not have a hand to hold when there's a monster in their closet. So this is already a bad thing, right? We already know that Poppy Playtime Co. Uh, turned bad at some point. Maybe this is when. But the dude is talking about not he didn't even say like when a kid is scared that there is a monster in their closet or they think there's a monster in the closet. He literally said a monster in their closet, like because we know it at Playtime Co. There were actual monsters. We, we've killed a couple. Well, maybe 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 only one. We don't know yet. We tried to kill two. May play care bring joy, inspiration and smiles to every child who enters these doors. So, OK. Right. Okay. So now we know where he's speaking, right? He's speaking in front of Playcare. This is the announcement of Playcare's, well, I don't know if you grand open an orphanage, but the opening of Playcare. Uh, Cause he says right in front of these doors, that implies that he's standing in front of Playcare. Uh, and I just want to note, I think right here, I think this is Cat B. This is Bunzo Bunny. You guys recognize him kind of laying on his side there with his, uh, his happy smile. And then right here, we've got Daisy. And there was a lot of speculation and, and fan stuff. There's been, this is the very first information we've gotten officially from Mob Games. I'm on their Discord. I, uh, I, I, I subscribe to their YouTube channel. I'm always watching for info. And there has been literally radio silence since Chapter 2 came out. So uh, there was a lot of fan speculation that Chapter 3 was going to have Daisy as the antagonist, uh, like Huggy Wuggy or Mommy Longlegs in Chapter 2. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, what seems to be the case is because they are all knocked aside. Uh, so, you know, Bunzo Bunny was murdered in chapter two by Mommy Longlegs uh, and, and probably integrated into the prototype uh, after. So would the rest of these, it would seem, because this dude is center stage with a spotlight on him. And I'm thinking it might actually be Elliot Lug Ludwig. I'm not sure how old he would be at this point, uh, but maybe his spirit is reincarnated in uh, in the, the robot prototype. Uh, I don't know, but th this, this is bad also. This is a gas mask, and we're talking about children, uh, uh, parentless orphans in an orphanage, and we've got this in the Poppy Playtime colors, I might add. So I don't know what happened to the children, but uh, if you listen closely... Uh, and this would be, and I'm not sure if this is, uh, so you hear the, the audience cheering, right? Yeah. Everybody's happy. Then you hear babies crying and then children screaming. So uh, I don't know if that was at the press conference of the opening or if that's children and the orphans screaming later after they've gone to playtime or play care. Uh, and are, you know, being taken care of, but getting <laughs> tortured and scared. So we kind of knew that it was play care. And I should have just I literally just put this together in my head. If we go to my uh, train video, actually missed that. Ah, right there. So, yeah, play care. Uh, it literally just came into my head. 
uh, that we knew that we knew we were going to play Karen. And in uh, at the end of chapter two, I didn't know what that was. I thought it was uh, well, I mean, I, we kind of assumed that it was a place for kids to play like a daycare at Poppy Playtime uh, or at Playtime Co. Uh, but it turns out that it is not just a daycare. It is an orphanage where these children are li uh, are living and Playtime Co. is the sponsor of them. And uh, something really bad happened. <laughs> really, really bad happened to all the children there. <laughs> Someone notified Thing Noodles. Your boy, Bray, I'm already here, bro. Hey, everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts, where today we're going to be reacting to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, teaser trailer number 2, which premieres in four minutes. I don't need to be notified. <laughs> Yo, wait, are there really 25, 25,000 people waiting? That means when this goes live, it could get up to 100,000, uh, but then it's going to be super short, so probably not. But if it was like an hour long thing, it would get up there. So, but before it starts, guys, make sure to click the like button on my video as well. See if you get to the next thousand, which I completely failed on here. And uh, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, uh, we've got a new character here. Uh, now, I don't know about scale. This could be a this could be a mini Huggy that's being killed by this, and this thing is actually not that big. Or it could be Huggy Wuggy uh, dying again. Uh, he's got stuffing coming out of him, and also blood. Uh, and this thing is massive. If this is a full size Huggy Wuggy. We'll find out in a bit, uh, according to the developers in the Poppy Playtime creator chat, uh, this uh, teaser trailer is over a minute long, so there should be a lot of details in it. I don't know about a release date, because it is not a gameplay trailer. Um, but I did notice here, this is new. Gla grab the exclusive Chapter 3 merch. So we got three minutes. Let's see what they've... Ooh. So yeah, this is... Uh, huh. No, 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 I was gonna say, is that PJ Pugapillar's claw? But it's not. Never forget the hour of joy. And we've got these two eyes here. I don't know whose eyes those are. And obviously we have this claw, which is, uh, I think, I mean, like right here, it gets white. It, th that's why I was saying PJ Pugapillar, because the purple and the white. But he had stocky little legs, and I don't remember. And they wouldn't do that, would they? Uh, feature plot. Ah, so this is kind of, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look at the difference in the purple. That's not that's not him. It's definitely not him. He's got squishy little feet. So it's not PJ Pugapillar. Whoa, look at that chat, dude. Okay, 60 seconds. There are 30, 35,000. So they're gonna break 50. 35,000 people. That is insane. All right. Uh, but it's gonna do that like whole thing. Oh, we should probably put this full screen. Wait, okay, I can't yet. I can't yet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna watch it live. We're gonna watch it straight through because you can't. Can you pause the premiere? I don't think you can. Uh, and then we'll go back and analyze it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, the page just reloaded. I didn't do it. Uh, it isn't actually 1 p.m., but it re. Oh, there it went. Okay, it went a few seconds early, but uh, it isn't starting. Hey, it's one o'clock. It is one o'clock, dude. I saw it refresh. <laughs> Watch, the chat's gonna be upset. We're getting up to 50K waiting. The hype is real. There it is. All right, I, I refreshed and it actually, yeah, okay. Okay, at least they only did a two minute countdown instead of the five minute one. Sometimes I do the five minute one. Sorry guys. Wait, I need to see, okay, 56K watching now. I just had to check. And see if uh, if that so they have eclipsed fifty thousand viewers, sixty thousand. I, yo, this could go to a hundred k. I don't believe it. Oh my! When this game comes out, oh my goodness. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I wanted to see how many it got to. Okay, sixty three thousand. But I need to watch this full screen because I'll get distracted. Let's go. Ooh, fire. Yes. Good start. Uh, what? Oh, it, this is where we left off. This is the train, right? I, I think it's the train. Okay. The play care door is open, which we knew. We saw the sign for play care coming out of the train. I feel like I should whisper. Bro. Oh, 
Ooh, decapitated. Why does this look so real? Okay, scratch marks, three claws. That's the same character. Time for bed. I've seen that image. Ooh, a play care phone there. It looks like a happy little phone. Oh, something bad. Oh, okay, the original, wait, the original saved me. I rejoice in him. I live to serve our angel of salvation. He gives me nightmares and they had a drawing. It was a kid drawing this character, whatever it is. Oh, that's the, oh, that's disgusting. That's Huggy. Oh, no way. Dude, is it him? Oh, never forget the hour of joy. Okay, there's the claws. Wait, why are there four? I thought there were three. Wait a second. Okay. Is it the prototype? That looked like the prototype, like who had been, who had been, <laughs> what was that, a rabbit? <laughs> Chapter three, the name, Deep Sleep. So chapter three is called Deep Sleep. Do we have a release date? What? Winter? 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 Winter technically, oh my goodness, guys. Wait, did it say, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I want to see the chat now. <laughs> winter, winter. Oh, what is winter? Okay, guys, so uh, to answer this person's question, Winter, why winter? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. People are going to freak out. Deep sleep in winter is really uh, makes sense uh, because hibernation uh, it happens in winter and that is a deep sleep. But like, yeah, so December, people are saying December. Did it say winter 2023, which technically winter starts December 21st, 2023 and runs through February of 2024? But if they say winter 2023, that means we might be getting it uh, right around Christmas if they do it at the beginning of winter and they want to keep it in 2023. Hold on. All right, let's go back. Let's have a look. So it starts here with the fire. This is from, this is the train burning, right? As we crash the train uh, and uh, we're, we're at the play care, which we knew about the sign. But like, this looks like a movie. If the graphics are this good in the gameplay, it's going to be terrifying. I mean, look at this. Okay, and so right here, so uh, you've got these three scratches here. One, two, three. Uh, we've got, like, uh, photos on the wall here. We've got, I, I don't know. Are these chairs and tables, it kind of looks like? It's almost like an orphanage. Oh, obviously, play care, daycare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here, we've got the, uh, the decapitated mini huggy right here. Uh, which could be from the monster. We've also got a decapitated, this looks like brawn right here. Again, with the three, well, single scra scrape or scratch mark from the one monster. Uh, now here, uh, this, uh, right here. Okay, so, uh, this isn't, I don't know who this is. It's not brawn, right? Because he's standing, um, I don't know what character this is, uh, unless it is Braun standing up. But again, with the three scratches behind the painting, which is kind of weird, but both of these faces are removed. And I don't know, is that supposed to be like who Poppy was made after? It kind of looks like Poppy, but like really, really creepy. It's so weird because the only red character that we know about is Braun, but this one has like feet, like shoes and hands. So I do not know what character this is. Uh, okay, right here. Now this is uh, three kids, time for bed. And it's drawing this purple monster, uh, which we know from the thumbnail again with the claw marks. Uh, but we don't know who this monster is. Except, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, again, so we've got the playtime phone here, and it looks like a smiley face if you turn it sideways. I think it's a cordless phone, not a cellular phone, it looks like. Uh, and then three scratches. Again, in every shot, the three or the three scratch marks are there. And that thing has still got power, it sounds like. Okay, cool. All right, so here we go with, with the, the writing. The original saved me. I rejoice in him. Uh, I don't know what it says below that. There's the scratches there. These are children. Uh, maybe these are missing children. Th oh, yeah. Look, look. so here's uh, this. 
Oh, you know, it could have been Braun. The reason I say that, this is 100% Candy Cat, right? But he, but he's standing. He's like, uh, humanified. Uh, this is pink and white. Oh, I don't know who that is. It's like a My Little Pony or something. I don't know. They, look, right here, they've got this kid has a Playtime uh, logo on their shirt or jacket, uh, which means uh, this is from probably from play care. These are, these, these are the, the kids in the orphanage, right? But the original saved me. I rejoice in him is the original, the prototype because, uh, Oh, hold up. There's something back there. You see the shadow. This I did not notice. Cause I was focusing on all this. There's a shadow here. I, I don't know if we, can we see the shape of it? Do we see claws? Uh, something definitely moves. Yeah, it's stationary there. And then, yeah, so it looks like it is facing away from us. And uh, this is just the light projecting it. It's watching us here. Okay. Uh, same. Do we see anything over here? Oh, man, I just glare on my screen. I okay, I heard something there. Hold on. I didn't read anything yet, but do we see anything move? We definitely hear something. Uh, now, it says, my new friend has got a kid, and there's the purple guy again. <laughs> Not that purple guy. I live to serve our angel of salvation. He gives me nightmares, just like mommy and... Uh, well, he gives me nightmares. Okay, this one. But just like mommy and daddy before they left me. So this little purple entity, I think, saves the kids from being tortured in... Uh, play care uh, or, or turned into uh, experiments and whatnot. But yeah, we definitely hear something there. Okay, now uh, there's candles. We've got scratch marks. Do we see anything moving in the background? There's a flickering. Uh, yep, that's the uh, the missing part, I believe, of that, um, that Huggy Wuggy doll in the beginning that was uh, decapitated right there. That would be his head, I guess. That is horrifying. Okay, we got... Okay, and this has got to be the prototype. So what is that? I mean, does that, right? I mean, look at all these pieces put together. Like, it's a silhouette, but like, look, right here, this shape right here, that's Huggy Wuggy's head. It, it is. Uh, what, what do we got? Like, I, I don't know. It looks like a hand made out of something. Do we see any, like, mommy long legs part? This looks like the daycare attendant from FNAF. Uh, this looks like... This looks like kind of like candy cat or cat. Yeah, kind of like candy cat bent over, like like draped over something. It's got like boxing gloves, which uh, could be from uh, Playtime co-employees with their grab packs. Uh, There's springs. What else do we have here? Who's, whose ears are these? I was looking for mommy long legs because she said she that we would make, he would make him a part of her and it would be the top half of her. It could be, this could be her right here. Because he took the top half of our, he could also be in the shadow somewhere. But this is the prototype. This is him building himself bigger and bigger. All right. So followers of the path, which I would say are the children following this, I don't know, uh, entity. Uh, it says, my somniferous flock. What is somniferous? Ah, okay. Tending to induce sleep soporific. So, uh, my, my sleepy followers, uh, Never forget the hour of joy. Uh, and it says, who trapped, wait, who trapped us in Farlands? Is that kind of what it says? I think that's what it says. No, 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 no. That's not, not, not what it says. Who trapped us in Garlands? I don't know. Oh, wait, I have a better copy. Hold on. I, uh, that's not, oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're supposed to put one on Google Drive uh, that isn't like a YouTube uh, compress. Maybe we can see this better. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. So I got, I got the, that scared me because there was, hold on. How do I, how do I step through? There was definitely like a frame. I'm, I'm watching the YouTube version because I don't know how to step slowly. Yes, this right here. So there's something, oh, yo, that just pops in for like one second, dude. It's the gas mask, which I was wondering about why we haven't seen that. Check that out. I didn't even notice that the two times that I watched it already. But that, hold on, let's let's get there. Let's get there. I don't know how to step frame by frame on Windows Media Player, but 
Yo, look at that. That's the gas mask, which we saw like two years ago or whatever when the first trailer came out. And I mean, it is literally on there for like one, like one frame, two frames. And then burn the mask, baby. Oh, and it, yeah, it transitions into the, uh, weird. It transitions right into the, uh, the train, which is kind of why it tricks you that it, uh, that that's, that's there. All right. So, uh, no, it's exactly the same. It do, you know what though? I said, who trapped us in the far lands? It, it actually said in Garland, this is a G, this is a hundred percent a G. Uh, but yeah, never forget the hour of joy and look at the scratch. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And that is that, those are the eyes. Is it cold? Does it? Okay. Hold on. Let's, uh, well, let's let him scream. And what are these light? Okay. This is chapter three. Deep sleep. Right. It's still pixelated, so I don't think it was YouTube that was doing that, even though I have the master copy now. I think it's meant to be that way. Winter 2023. Right. Now, there's always, like... Yeah. There's always, like... Like, like... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. That did not say poppyplaytime.com. What did that say? Let's get back to this, though. This jump scare here. Frame by frame. So... This, hmm, so this is the character, and it looks a lot like a cat, if I'm being honest. Uh, and also, cats, don't they have four claws? This could be a cat character. This could be what Candy Cat has become. You can see the ears up here. Like, this looks like, you know, like like a cat's mustache. You know what I'm talking about? This is a, a cat's nose. This could be a cat boss. I mean, look at it. It is totally a cat. Whatever the boss is, whatever its name is, maybe it's just Candy Cat, but, you know, Candy Cat, um, horrified. This is a cat. I'm, I'm, oh, there, even better. There we go. Fully confident. This is a cat. And the colors, actually, the, the purple color that we're seeing is Candy Cat, right? I was thinking PJ Pugapillar, but I'm betting, like on the merch we saw, this is Candy Cat. Candy Cat is the, the Huggy Wuggy. Candy Cat is the Mommy Long Legs of Chapter 3. That's, uh, that's what I think. And then... Winter 2023, which can technically go to, like, March. Even though I know it's 2024, you might be like, no, but that's 2024. But technically, winter 2023 starts in 2023 and ends in 2024. I, I know what you're thinking. I want to think that, too. I want to think that it's going to come out before 2024, but I, no promises, guys. Vacation, I'm like, hey, what's this? And, uh, yeah. Didn't really talk about this on YouTube. So if you saw the trailer and you got super excited and you're going with my prediction that we were going to get it on December 22nd, Nope. Remember when we had that, like, the first time I saw that trailer and then it said winter 2023? And we know that winter technically starts December 22nd, 2023 and runs till, like, February, what, March 21st, 2024? Yeah, they cancel Poppy Playtime. Well, at least in 2023, it is indefinitely, I think, indefinitely uh, delayed uh, further. Uh, it's, it's been a while. Uh, but yeah. Today, uh, December 11th, which would be yesterday, we've made the unfortunate decision to delay Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 several additional weeks into 2024. We realize that this news may be disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> really? This was a tough decision. I'm sure it was. And we hope you can accept our apologies. Uh, we'll, we'll see how long it takes. We made this decision to give us enough time to release Chapter 3 at the quality we're striving for. Okay. I'll give you that. Simply put, the game isn't ready yet. Our developers have been putting in an extraordinary effort to give you the best possible experience we can deliver. Chapter 3 is going to be the biggest, highest quality installment of Poppy Playtime yet. We cannot wait for you guys to enjoy it. Yes, I definitely expect that. We understand the emotional investment you've made in our game. 
and we do not take your support for granted. Your enthusiasm and passion are what drive us to continue the creation of this project we poured so much into. Thank you for your support understanding and patience it's wearing thin guys uh your excitement fuels our commitment to excellence we can't wait for you to experience the final product until then we've put together this gameplay trailer to finally show the world a small snippet of the incredible work our team has been doing here we hope you enjoy it sincerely zach and seth bellinger <sighs> Well, uh, yeah, so they did drop a gameplay trailer number one, uh, which means there's going to be a gameplay trailer number two. My original excitement, I, you know, I, I was still going with the assumption <laughs> later on in the video, you'll see that uh, that we were going to get this in 2023. So the gameplay trailer number two should come at the end of the week and then we would get the game in about a week after that. But nope, we're not. Sorry, guys. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> They ruined everything! Uh, no, I'm only kidding. I mean, I do understand development is not easy, and uh, I'm sure a game as advanced as this is very difficult, to be honest. The last few releases that Bob Games has released, they have botched them a little bit. Uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 had uh, the berry bug when it was first released, and <laughs> tons of people were streaming it, and they got stuck because they couldn't get past Barry. He wouldn't break the barrier, uh, and they needed a hot fix for that for people to actually get through the game. It was completely game-stopping, and obviously, you guys remember what happened Project Playtime. The game, like, launched or was gonna launch, and then it didn't launch, and then it did launch, and the servers were broken, so they brought it back down, and then, it, like, I don't know, two weeks past the uh, actual launch date. We don't want any of that. We do want the game to work right away so I I do uh, appreciate them putting in the time if it wasn't gonna work in time then great um, I'm just really really disappointed uh, because it's been like two years hey everyone it's your friend think noodles and welcome back to think react for today we're reacting to uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Deep Sleep Gameplay Trailer number one. They've never done this before, but that automatically implies that there's gonna be a gameplay trailer number two. It's kind of like having Skibbity Toilet 67 Part 1. We're gonna see a part two. Either way, guys, I am excited. Let's get it full screen, and, and it looks already like we're gonna see Smiling Critters intro once again for the, I guess, third time in oh, I, I ooh. Okay, there were some messages there. I didn't I didn't mean to spoil anything. Let's let's go and I'm gonna watch through it. Right. We already know this. We've already Oh! I just it's a TV! Okay, we're actually coming out of the TV for once. Okay. 1995, 11 a.m. A workforce danger alert. I didn't oh dude, there Okay, there was the there was a scene back there. Whoa! Have you heard the news? What? P Poppy Playtime's coming out? Oh. Dang, that, I mean, okay. I, we'll go back over it, but I, I have a comment about that, actually. Oh, there's the mask! The flower, oh, it's, oh. That's Poppy, that was Poppy's voice. The children have suffered. Uh -huh. The prototype is his god. Dude, the prototype! Wait, 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 I need to see the parts! Was that Huggy what the children grow hungry? Here is bigger than all of us. Oh, I knew it! I need you! So we can get revenge on those monsters who Whoa. tortured you. Okay. Oh, dang. Tortured oh. us! Oh, it's Kissy Messy! I knew it was her talking. Celebrate what? Oh, on. I knew it! I was right. Rejoice. Type has to die. Yeah. For this. Sleep. For everything. Oh, there's Kadath. Oh, that's Cat. Dude, he looks like Huggy Wuggy. I mean, I know he's not, but he's got like the same shape. <sighs> that looks so good. Okay, 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 okay. Anything at the end? All right, there was a lot going on there. We gotta go all the way back to the very beginning. There's a lot I want to comment on here. So, I mean, there was a lot of gameplay and mechanics revealed in that trailer there that uh, some stuff that would be previously impossible in chapter one and chapter two. Uh, the other thing is like with, with, with what Poppy is talking about, like I almost want to watch it all the way through again and listen. I might do that instead of like trying to comment on each thing. I want to listen to everything she says and I'll be right back <laughs> just so I can digest everything all at once. All right, I, w I watched it through just so I could listen to it all at once and not be like searching for little details and enjoyed it. Uh, so 
Uh, we'll talk about what she says. But, okay, right here, okay? So this is, like, the emergency alert system, and I watched it again. You can notice, like, there's, like, this is, like, a floor wall. This is a hallway. And if you watch closely, you can see a shape walking slowly. It's got four legs. I think it's probably catnap. Just based on it being chapter three and deep sleep and all. All right, so have you heard the news? Now, okay, yeah. So this right here, and and, and no, <laughs> I say disrespect, but it just like the layout of it, like of it being sort of like a house, like a set inside of an area. It makes me think Garden of Bam Bam, but like way more detailed and stuff. Uh, we've got a little poppy statue up here. I don't know what that is. We've got like the boxy, uh, boxy boom mailbox, which is super cute. I don't know whose house this is, uh, or why this would be here in like a daycare center inside of a toy or in the basement of a toy factory. But nevertheless, um, I oh yeah. And Poppy's saying find the flower. Okay. Wait, I just wanted to see right there, right at the beginning of the scene. Yeah. So right here. Uh, we've got our green hand, which we know is the is the hand that, like, I, from here, I, I would expect it to either take power or put power. Uh, we're walking through what looks like was the bedroom for all of these children in uh, play care. There's a brawn hanging from the ceiling there. Okay, right back there. So that's probably where you take the power from, right here. Charge your green hand and shoot it up at the ceiling. I don't know what that'll... Un it might... I was going to say it might unlock this door, but no, you have to unlock the door first to get to that power spot. Okay, so this is a different room now. It's a different scene. We've got uh, like a uh, kind of like a forklift here, maybe, uh, that says playtime on it. And then we've got the mask lit up by a spotlight. Uh, so this, I would expect, is very, very early game. Uh, you'll notice also as we go up to the mask, there's like a red cloud, which I think is a catnaps, gas, or breath, that you need to put this on to access something over here. So we'll walk up to it. Yeah, right there, you can see the, the red forming and uh, it's telling us to take that and we see which i predicted in a previous uh in the last reaction so catnap's red smoke is going to be in certain areas certain rooms certain puzzles where we'll have to put on the gas mask and i would expect that it'll put like goggles on our screen or make it more difficult to see uh, we only need it in certain areas like there so that we can access certain areas where catnap uh is filling it with the the sleeping gas so find the flower and look at all of them in plush form. Uh, these are all sitting here and this looks like a candy cat, a brawn, like all of the like old Poppy Playtime characters before the smiling critters are like hung up there. It's almost like the new guard here. This also reminds me like with the with the way this area is set up of PJ Pugapillar's area uh, in chapter two kind of looks like it. I don't know why they're all sitting here. If that's actual gameplay or if that's just a uh, promo image. Now it says these children have suffered. And then it says like, um, so what does it say? Cause like I, I, I brought up the car, the, the, um, the CC, um, closed captioning. Like, and it, it like, it's completely wrong. So I, cause I thought maybe it would say that, that face. And it says that thing, Catman. <laughs> No, that is not, so I, whatever. Catnap's god is the prototype. Now this, I believe, is the prototype. Let's analyze all of the parts here. First of all, we've got Bunzo right here. This is a boxy boo claw. Obviously, PJ Pugapillar, and guys, that's an adult, and it's a skeleton, and he's got a ball cap on. I think we know who this is. This is the Doors crossover. We've all been wa- <laughs> But is that not Bob? Come on, guys. Bob in PJ Puggett Pillar's mouth. Uh, now, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? So the one thing I, I am- Oh, hey! That's Huggy Wuggy. Or Mini Huggy. Is this the actual pro- Oh, and there's Mommy Longlegs' arm. So wait, is this confirmation that Huggy Wuggy is actually dead? He's right there. Just like we've got one of her arms. Like, I bet if we look close enough, we can probably... Yeah, there's a, there's her leg right there. There's a leg hanging. And this might be part of her torso and head here. Like, that looks like the noodly part of her head. That little foot there. Oh, yeah, and another boxy boot claw here, which is kind of weird. I mean, we know he's a, uh, a monster in Project Playtime, but... 
We have not encountered him in Poppy Playtime, so it looks like he was killed and absorbed into the prototype before the events in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 or 2. He didn't use Huggy Wuggy very well. I'm not sure how you would use him well, uh, but it doesn't seem like it did. But I'm not noticing the hand, right? The hand that we saw in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 that took Mommy Long Leg's top half. Why did she got a foot? It wasn't it her feet that went into the grinder and only her top half popped off? Shouldn't her feet be ground up? There shouldn't be any legs left. How does she have legs? They got sucked into that machine and ground up. But yeah, I'm not seeing that claw that grabbed the top half of her body and dragged it in. Uh, that we assumed was the prototype. Maybe it's a minion for the prototype that brings it to the prototype and the prototype decides how to use it. It doesn't look super mobile, to be honest. It looks like it's affixed to the ground or I don't know, man, or maybe this is where the prototype, oh, maybe this is where the prototype stores its stuff. That is probably what this is because it doesn't look like it's actually mobile. This looks like it's fixed to the ground. This is like its nest where it puts the body parts it isn't using. Again, I, I don't know where we got the legs, but we got Huggy Wuggy. I feel like that's confirmation that he's dead. Mob oh. games will never tell us because how are you going to sell a, a Huggy Wuggy plush if he's dead? What do you guys think? Is this not it? I mean, it's we can't tell, but it's blue. That's blue. I, I think he's dead. Now that that's settled, we're not. Okay. So right here, who is this? See, because I thought before I saw that, before I like, because this image flashed by so quickly, I didn't even notice Huggy Wuggy there, although I should have. Uh, but who is this? Because this has the lips of Huggy Wuggy, right? But there's like no hair. It's tied around the waist, but it's like, it's, you see how like furry this is around the waist? And then here, there's no hair on the arms or anything. You know, wait, if we look closely, actually right here, like watch closely right here. Yes. So there's an ear here. Yeah. So I bet that's one of the smiling critters. Like, uh, what's the rabbit? Hops, hops, hoppy, hoppy, <laughs> hoppy hopscotch. I think think because I feel like they've introduced all of these characters for a reason right it could be oh it could be dog day also I was just gonna say because uh I mean he could be sad and his ears are down but his ears are already down but they look longer like a rabbit's ears I don't know man but it's got to be one of them either dog days or hoppy hopscotch so we will probably see all of the smiling critters in um bad Help situations me. like cat not put them to sleep in their little cartoon and then he locked them up and tied them up but it's still alive and it says these children so okay and this right here which is also something i thought that we would be able to do uh you can see if you watch it frame by frame we've got multiple hands which i thought in the last one we might be able to do uh so if we put it down oh no it, i don't know why it stays open like that so right here is the little capsule here i thought that and it probably is it's triggering hey i'm choosing another hand i'm choosing the purple hand uh, so this pops open and triggers the other hand as it goes down boop, and it comes back up and this hand is seek from <laughs> I'll stop with the doors references. No, I won't. Um, so yeah, that is what the purple hand does. We we wondered about this in the screenshots on the Steam page because we definitely saw this little hand spot here. And I wondered what the purple hand was for because it didn't have the purple hand in the screenshot. So you switch hands to the purple one and it makes you like super jump. And then I don't know what you're going to do after that because you don't have another one of those. But um, anyway, you made it across. This could be just a regular VHS tape. Uh, it is the most evil I've ever seen Huggy Wuggy look. Like more evil than him when he was killing us every single time in chapter one. That is, that is, that is, wow. <laughs> He's evolved. Need you. Uh, so she needs us. Now, we can get revenge. so yeah, this, so this was a puzzle. This is the first puzzle in the trailer. Uh, we are in some sort of like, it don't look like a play care. I'll tell you that. Uh, some kind of like reactor area. It's just power right here, I think. We've got this, I think is that purple handprint thing again. But what we're doing, this is a new power pole that we're interacting with. And yeah, there's a wire here that's got like two lightning bolts and I maybe have to get three or four. There's just like a little poppy in this thing here. So I feel like we 
power that all the way and it opens this up and maybe lets Poppy out. Maybe this is our first release of Poppy. So this is already connected. This hand here is connected to power. This hand, we, we're, we're shooting right at this little spot here, which is going to spin around and spin the power around the pole, including powering the pole. So instead of us having to walk around it, it, it swings it, slingshots it like you're going around a moon on your way to Mars. So it slingshots it through. Okay, so that one stops it. Oh, and it pops it open and then it shoots it across to, to, I think it goes out of frame. No, no, okay, to another one. They're automatically lined up like that. So this one is connected, I don't know, something back here. We'll have to remember this because this looks like a complicated puzzle. And, oh, and then th there's a there's the purple thing there, the purple pad bear, and there. So then it would hit that, hit that, and I think after that I don't know what, what, where it's gonna go. Oh yeah, see, see, we we, we connected to this, and that might have actually you have to do this one first, and then it powers up these poles, and then you can do the spinny thing. Um, and there's a hole in the wall here. No, no, don't turn. I want to see what. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, it's gonna shoot this way. So yeah, it's coming toward us this way. So there's another spot where it goes. Ah, where's it going? Uh, okay, it's gonna hit something over this side. <laughs> you know, it looks like a lightsaber right here now. <laughs> okay, no Star Wars and Poppy Playtime. Okay, so what, so this right here, I didn't even, how did I, I like completely missed this scene. I watched this twice and I didn't even see this scene. <gasps> oh yeah, no, 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 I did. I was looking in the foreground at this, um, furry monster. Now I thought because of the way it walked and it was like bipedal, uh, that it was huggy wuggy. I'm not sure anymore because of what we saw in, uh, the prototype area, whatever that was. Um, because, uh, it could be, it could also be her, it could be kissy missy. It could be huggy wuggy and it could also be catnap because we know he walks like that. So now this uh, it almost looks like we're underwater or something, but I know that's not Tortured true. Us. Uh, the, and that was sort of a cutscene, but we were carrying uh, Poppy and Kissy Missy. So it's not the Kissy Missy that walks around and helps us. It's the like doll sized one. I don't know who would be calling here. The place went kind of out of business. It looks like in, well, in like, what was it? 1995 here when everything went down. Uh, so why anybody be calling now? I don't know. Um, yeah, so this, uh, yeah, this is where we put on the mask, right? So we're coming down and we see the red fog, the red breath. And yeah, it does occlude our vision as I thought. So, there... has to die. so this, the prototype has to die. Her saying that. Do you think, and does that mean that Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is it? I, I wouldn't think so, but they've worked on this for so long. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just a trilogy. Maybe it's one, two, three, and then that's it. That'd be crazy because it would be unexpected, but maybe that's why it's taken so long. They're trying to perfect it as the end of the series and we actually have to kill the prototype. There is a gameplay trailer part two coming at some point. Maybe we'll get a little bit more, but For this. For there, okay. And yeah, there is catnap. So catnap, obviously now this reminds me of the tunnels in PJ Pugapillar, right? Like he crawls to the tunnel after you. It's it's quite similar. I mean, obviously he's not PJ Pugapillar, but oh, I, I like I like his uh, emotion there. He just looks deranged. Okay, and then there's a hole down here. Now we well, hold on. I was just listening to what she said. We didn't talk about this when she says prototype has to this what is this this also <laughs> <laughs> giving me ban ban vibes of like the the like the elevators and the and the travelator things and like garden ban ban 3 i don't know what we're jumping uh, it's just a catwalk really i guess i don't know why like it to garden ban ban i could have likened it to poppy playtime chapter one uh so we jump down this little area here this little hole Oh, we got a green hand. And this is always open, I guess, on the one that you can change it to. Uh, yeah, it does always seem to be open. How did, how did we make this jump? Is there something pushing us? Because that looks like an unmakeable jump, dude. Oh, maybe it was swinging. I, eh, I don't know, man. That's a weird movement thing. What does this say here? Uh, something awaits those who believe. <laughs> Death, probably. <laughs> 
Yeah, and there. And this is where I got the... So he's not walking, and he is not bipedal. So he actually has four legs on the ground. They're just super long legs, like uh, Huggy Wuggies are, or uh, Kissy Missies are, but he uses all four. So, back to this scene here, then. That wow, means, so whatever that is... No, that's... You know what? That's, that's catnap. Because you can see... I said bipedal, but no, they're, they're, it's, it's on four legs. You can see... The legs are on the ground there. That's just the front leg walking past the back legs. Yeah. Okay, so that's... I'm, I'm betting anything that's just catnap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. Okay, I expected this to be more gameplay-like. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> Yo! We got, I gotta read, like, all of that. Look at all the redact redacted stuff. Play care. Oh my! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's it not amazing. It's a school, <gasps> a playhouse, oh, yeah. a place to belong. <gasps> Dang! Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's okay. the kids used to live here. Now look at it. All right. Whoa! What? Is Yo, we got guns! Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. Okay. And when you're at your most yes. vulnerable, launch. He'll kill you. Hey, he who? Who is that? Bro, what? In the Play whoa, here what? Is a church is a hunting ground. Whatever Yo, he wants. We literally to have like a rocket launcher. Okay. I know what happened. Why? What? This is your answer. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> this is gonna be worth the wait, you guys. This looks so good. Whoa, what? Oh, Kissy, is Kissy Poppy. Ah! Was that him? He looked different! All that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors. <laughs> Smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. <laughs> this world is theirs now. Welcome home. Holy cow, this goes so hard, dude! What? Even? Alright, when? 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 What? What just said? It. That. What? Hold up! What? We don't. Huh? Okay, I just. <laughs> Alright, so, uh. It turns out that Mob Games gave me all of this in advance, but they're not giving me the date. They said I have to wait to watch the official trailer on their channel when everyone else does to find out the date. So let's do all of the over analysis here. Let's take our time. Let's step through this. And then whenever the actual trailer comes out, I'll get to find out when the game comes out just like you. Okay. So, okay. This looks bad. We know this is play care. Uh, this is the orphanage. There are a, uh, a bunch of children here, right? Like each one is a child in a bed. Um, and uh, all of the Playtime Co. employees are wearing gas masks and suits, hazmat suits. I don't know if it means these children are dead, but I do know that they, they at least had some nightmares. That's why they have the gas masks on, so that they don't suffer from the nightmares. They might just be stuck in the nightmares and not able to get out. Uh, so that's moved. And then these are four children. So I'm what like, he's got a Huggy Wuggy shirt. I don't know if they are significant in any way. Maybe these are the the the, 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 the smiling critters, right? Or a few of them anyway. Uh, the, a few of the kids that are in their bodies. I don't know. Wait, wait, hold on a second too. Wait, let's look at the hand here real quick. That looks more like a paw, but I, I don't know. I guess it's the same person. All right, project proposal experiment number 1188. Bigger Bodies Initiative, Play Care, and continuation of our work, Experiment 1188 aims to leverage with our golden uh, blank, with our golden path forward, uh, iterating upon previous successes as can be found in, a, in Experiment 1180, as well as the blank of Experiment Blank. Uh, we believe that the opportunity, sophisticated, capable body, bigger body to date. The most capable one is this kid right here. These extra, uh, something intended role for use in home sweet home. What's home sweet home? 
uh, be every bit blah blah blah. The researcher will begin by preparing the test subject as per the Bigger, bigger Bodies Initiative guidelines. Uh, in light of the shortcomings of 1167 or 1187 and 1186, will be adjusted to a three to one mixture of what? What are you guys doing to better aid in rerouting blood and oxygen, reduce risk of prematurely decoupling the brain stem from the spinal cord? Holy yeah, you guys are sick, man. Let, let's go, let's get to the okay. So this is absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. So we in the previous trailer, we it only showed us this right here. Uh, this was, uh, we just saw like, I guess a still shot of this area. Look at how many different places there are. This is kind of like the train station in uh, uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Uh, it looks like each of these is going to be a different level. We've got like a, well, we've got like a, I mean, it says toys, like a, I mean, I would say a toy store, but this is an orphanage, so I don't know. Uh, it looks like this one, I thought it's, uh, I mean, it looks like a big top circus, but I thought it said play care on it somewhere. Uh, it's got the smiling critters in the middle. We've got like platforms way up top here, which I don't know how we get. I mean, it also even gives me like a hello neighbor vibe with this stuff, like up here. And I don't know, it kind of looks like a neighbor's house a little bit. Play um, care. Uh-huh. Our very own on-site orphanage. Yeah, so we... Is this the one we saw? Actually, I don't think this is. This is a different building than than than, uh, than the one I pointed out before. This actually, I think, is probably where we come out of. It looks like a train station. I'm just because of these here. <laughs> I don't know. Drawing conclusions. There's a little boxy boom mailbox there. There's some sort of electrical panel here. What else do we see? We got a backpack there, but I don't think that's going to be significant. This we will probably have to use. There's so many mechanics in, in but this it's trailer. Not only that. It's not only that. Okay, and then right here we've got uh, Huggy Wuggy, we got a uh, little crafty corn pillow, we got Kissy Missy, Catnap. I mean, we've got Boxy Boo here. Actually, this is the first time we've seen a Boxy Boo reference, uh, and it's got Dog Day as well and, and, and Mommy Long Legs. But yeah, you don't, we haven't seen this. We didn't see it in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Uh, Boxy Boo was not even created uh, when Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 came out. We obviously saw him first in it's Project a Playtime. It's a school. A playhouse. Playhouse. I thought it said play, play, uh, yeah. Is that what I said? Or, no, I thought it said play care. So this is that big top circus I was pointing out. This is the playhouse, obviously. Joy, the hour of joy. We've got handprints everywhere. We have a vending machine. We've got a giant duck, which <laughs> makes me think of Dark Deception. I don't know if it's evil or not. A place to belong. So, okay, a place to belong. Now, um, the... This is inside what I think uh, we saw in the first trailer. This right here. This is where the kids live and sleep. Um, we see some posters. We see a bo th this box here. That's Boxy Boo's box. Uh, we've got Catnap's uh, medallion here. Uh, this is where the kids sleep. And I noticed right here as the trailer was going, there's a hole in the ground with mist coming out of it. Obviously, all of these beds are unoccupied. And this is a different room than we saw earlier in those slides uh, because there are bunk beds instead of just all flat beds. And there's more of these boxes, so maybe that wasn't necessarily Boxy Boo's box. Okay, now we go to the VHS tape. Uh, and we are in like a, sort of like a jungle gym. And okay, something was running behind us. And I, I don't, did we see it? Do we see it? I mean, I don't know. Something's like running behind us. We hear it. I don't know if it gets us. Now, yeah, this is exactly where we left off at the end of Playtime, or Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. I expect that it will literally pick up the second after. Uh, just like in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, we open Poppy's case, and Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 starts with Poppy's case. So I, I always like that continuity that they, uh, well, at least in those two games that they put in. I hope they do the same here. It does look like it. This looks like the initial scene of us crashing the train. Um, oh, okay. I don't know what that growl is. Okay, so this is, what is it? This is Bobby Bear Hug, right? There's, okay, so Bobby Bear Hug is here. We've got the purple hand, that's the jumpy hand, and he speaks to us. Kids used to live here. So he, it looks like, so, and I, and I kind of suspected, well, I don't know. I thought maybe that all of the smiling critters would be actual monsters that are chasing us because we have seen both Catnap and Dog Day chase us. 
but it looks like they're all statues of them. This doesn't mean that Bo Bobby Bearhug isn't going to chase us and come after us uh, as a monster, but right here we just see him as a statue, kind of like the cardboard cutouts that we uh, saw in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. He speaks to us with a voice box. Uh, now, what is this thing? So we hit this with our blue hand. We've got the green hand here, which we know is the one that can move power that we got in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Uh, this is, ah, well, that's what that is. <laughs> that's a new hand. So now we know we have at least three hands. We've got the green hand that moves power. Well, and then technically, what color is this? Because, like, we used to have a blue hand and a red hand, right? And red hand is just regular. Then we have the green hand that can transfer power. And then we've got this hand, which is also kind of red. But this is the gun hand, and it has a zero count on it. So we may have to get ammo? I don't know how the ammo refills, but yeah, so we grab that. Okay, yeah, I should have noticed that. So look, it has five shots. So as soon as we hit that with our blue hand, this hand swaps. I don't think the blue hand ever swaps. I think only the the, uh, the right hand swaps and turns into a gun. <laughs> it's cool. Now, I, I did not notice the five before. Okay, so look. Okay, oh, yo, catnap is right there. <laughs> okay. So we're firing this like projectile missile and it goes down to four. Now, uh, I don't know if it's a timed reload or uh, if it's a projectile reload. Yeah, that, that we're definitely shooting catnap here. So let's see, can we like, I want to see what the projectile is. Uh, I can't really tell. <laughs> it does kind of look energy based, but it is more like a rocket. It, 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 it takes a while for it to hit its target. It's not like a laser. So it looks like some timing will be involved. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice this map. And, and catnap uh, ducked out of the, uh, the hallway uh, as the projectile was moving. You can see right here, he's there, and then boop, backed off. Okay, here we go. We got a map of the entire central area, and we've got like home sweet home. Ah, so that was in uh, that that slide. That's where they live. Uh, a place for rest and relaxation after a long day of learning and play. And then like this is the original play care. I don't know <laughs> what got erased here. But this is the original intent, and it seems good. Before the Bigger Bodies Initiative took over, uh, the toy store, every child should have a toy, and every child of play care can find one here. The school, the place where all the children uh, learn and stuff. Uh, the what office? Uh, we'll have to look at that in a minute. Uh, and then the playhouse is where they play. You are here. Uh, can we see who, who's... Oops. Counselor's office. You found the perfect place. Okay, so that's these are all good things. Uh, until they weren't. <laughs> Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. I don't know who's speaking here. That is not Poppy. That voice is is a child like Poppy, but the voice is more like a small boy than a small girl, I think. So it looks like right there what we had to do was take the power from uh, from from this one here. It's a hiding Transfer it to here, and then it activates this so that we can. Uh, so we can your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. Okay, that I think is catnap. I thought that was an arm, but I think it's his head. Yeah, that is catnap's face right there, and those are the ears. It's hard to tell with the VHS filter on, but. He'll kill uh, you. Yeah. Now this, I don't even know what this is. So one thing is like we've got some like it's almost like a sleeve. Now we did see these in the previous trailer. These were uh, ones that you had to hit and it sort of like redirects your grab pack hand. We didn't see this interface here with the crosshairs. Ah, there it is. Okay, so that makes more sense. So it's not us. So what we're doing there is we are uh, it's somewhere we are controlling this. So this is the that little uh, turret there that we're controlling and we're hitting that. So we control the turret, a bomb, and it hits that. Oh, maybe we pull that to control it, and then it hits that. And yeah, you see it spin around, then it hits that thing. These puzzles are gonna be super hard. So it goes there, goes through there, come here, here's the hand, and it's gonna go that way. And it lights up all the pulse. I I, I love the, uh, the use of the grab pack and also like remote versions of it. Uh, now this is uh, a battery and it, it's actually a lot like the batteries that we saw all the way back in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. I don't think we saw 
anything like that puzzle in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, but this is kind of like that. It kind of looks like with the handle on top, but we chuck it instead of dropping it. So we drop that in there. Um, I, we could probably walk. I think we're just sticking it in because you can see the handle sticking out there. So yeah, we're, we're just throwing it on in there. And, uh, and you can see the power actually lights up this cable and I would expect that once you walk through this door Which this is a completely different door a completely different area. Uh, you may be able to follow the electrical wire uh, The lit electrical wire until you're finding out what it actually opened or did or what you have to do kind of like spider-man uh, If you've played that uh, This is a padded room probably not a nice thing that they built for these kids but um, Okay and why would we take a shot like that? Like, what is here? There, there's obviously uh, a couple of tunnels here, but what are we firing at? Like, I didn't even see anything. There's nothing there, dude. Are we just trying to get light? Okay, so it went from five to four again. So I'm thinking since the max ammo is five, this is a timed reload automatically. It's, it's an electronic missile or something. Oh yeah, look, look, you can see it right here. It's building back right there. So it's the little red dot there. That means over time, uh, it'll fill back up and give you that fifth shot back. Uh, this is the school, obviously. We still have the gun out. And notice we have the gas mask on. So catnap is in range. Uh, we do need the mask. Uh, it does limit visibility, but not as much as I had expected. Uh, actually, that's yeah, pretty bad. But then uh, the reason is because you have catnap's gas already limiting visibility. And then you have like the vignette from the mask it does make it kind of hard to see, especially right where you want to shoot things right in the middle. Um, okay. So another one of those slots. Oh, it's actually right there. I think they're lit up. I mean, these are exactly like the ones in Poppy Playtime chapter one. I had kind of forgotten about them. So uh, obviously the people making the game didn't <laughs> um, know what happened. So what, what does that say? We, we don't even know what happened. What does she say? And that's Poppy, by the way. Whatever he wants it to be. Whatever he wants it to be. And he's talking about catnap. So then we've got this, like, this is one of those, like, wind-up cars, except it's, like, life-sized. Uh, and it looks like we used that to break this door open, kind of like Barry's yeah. minecart. Yeah. The Hour of Joy. Now, I don't know whether or not we get to watch this tape. Not sure I want to. This is your answer. This is our answer. So this is what happened. So uh, this might be what's on the Hour of Joy tape, actually. I mean, it's got a VHS filter and everything. Can we actually see anything here, though? It's so intense. Oh, okay. Right there, right there, right there. That was catnap, right? Is it? Yep. <laughs> I was going to say it looked like there were glasses, but no, that's just his head. So catnap is chasing the person in the VHS tape, or this is just gameplay and they put a VHS filter on it. Um, okay, okay, who's that? Whoa, 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 somebody appeared there. What? Wait, okay, so look, right here, wait, there wasn't anyone. Oh, there was, there is someone here. So it says science. This could be like one of the teachers that was in, uh, th that was in the play care. She gets a little bit, like, so the lights go out and yeah, she, she gets closer. <gasps> I already know what this is, I think. <laughs> I played enough horror games. So uh, what it looks like to me is when the lights are on, she's still, and when the lights flash and go off, like the kid said, actually it was Bobby Bearhug, and he says, shadow. every shadow every and every freaking light, is a, light is a hiding spot. And when you're at your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. Kill you. Yep. Bobby Bear is not actually talking about catnap. He's talking about this teacher here. Yeah, every flickering light and every shadow is a hiding spot. Not for us, but for the monster. Uh, so when this flickers, it moves. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Uh, so that that definitely is going to be a mechanic. This we're using like we're we're doing like wall grabs like Mario here, uh, like bouncing from one to the other to the other. And there was more of the. Uh, this is going to be a huge mechanic in the game. Finding all of these power banks to put in here. That's going to be like the puzzle in most of the levels, it seems like. Uh, this. Okay, that right here, this looks like one of those turrets again. I can see a little bit of it poking out right there as well. That might be the same area, uh, but that is uh, another one of those turret puzzles. Uh, and then through here. Okay, that's... What is that? Okay, so, oh, and now we're down to three shots, right? So we've used a few shots here, uh, four, and then used another one, three, and it's building up. 
a but what what was that? It looked a little bit like Dog Day. Is it? It is. It's like oh yeah, it is. He's so cute and tiny. Why are we afraid of him? I don't know what he does to us, but probably something bad bites our ankles or something. Uh yeah, and this says run, which obviously we will. But do we see anything? I don't see anything like that stands out here. Uh yeah. Kissy Missy and Poppy. And she's got a nice little flashlight there. She looks happy. Um, they look okay. Someone's posted help. There was something on the left. Just, uh, I thought it was an entrance to a room, but I don't think so. It's just a poster. Oh, you can kind of see through there. Uh, and, and it's to uh, Toy Store. So this is a window into the Toy Store there. And that this! What even is this? Okay, so this... You know what, guys? Okay, wait, let's watch the whole sequence here. So we're, we're walking, we're running, and then this is chasing us. I don't know what this is because it's not, I mean, I want it to be Huggy Wuggy so bad. And look at the little mommy log leg that fell out of the portrait here. But I don't think that it is. Uh, this is like <laughs> nightmare mode Huggy Wuggy. I, I feel like I've seen other animations where he looks exactly like this. I don't know how they nailed it, but they did. But here's the thing, guys. Uh, this, I think, is another character inside a Huggy Wuggy suit. You can see it here. There's like stitching on the uh, on the hands here. Uh, Huggy Wuggy's hands are not like that. He doesn't have long fingers. They're more like paws. Uh, and these look you can see like a like a seam or a stitch there uh, not only that his eyes right like he had actual eyes with eyeballs this looks like it's there's something inside there you can't even see the eyes it's like a like a well like a really really creepy scary uh disney costume or something i don't think it's the real huggy wuggy i could be completely wrong maybe it's the prototype who is dressed up in a huggy wuggy suit but either way it's gonna chase us it's gonna be awesome our old friend is back. We just like face planted there. All that awaits you are All incomprehensible you. horrors. Are incomprehensible horrors. And who is he telling that to? Like, who is saying that? This is supposed to be about play care. They were talking about how it's a great place for kids in the beginning, the orphanage, blah, blah, blah. And now it's just like incomprehensible horrors. There's a crying baby. Smiling mouths full of teeth. And Smiling meat mouths and plastic. full of meat and teeth and plastic. And oh yeah, this is getting closer and closer. It is obviously catnap. We've got the gas. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any characters down below, but it's hard to see through the gas there. Uh no, there's there's not. Uh yeah, it's just catnap. This world is theirs now. This world is theirs now. So this is someone uh describing what happened to the play care after catnap and <laughs> everyone. Uh, all of the smiling critters uh, took over. Obviously, it is their fault. Uh, I mean, not not the smiling critters. It's not their fault that they were subjected to the Bigger Bodies Initiative. But uh, this is someone talking about after uh, the kids are, well, converted or whatever you want to call it. Welcome home. Welcome home. Two years in the making. And I'm ready for it. All right, now, after all that excitement, I have to sit here and wait to find out when I can actually play it. All right, here we go. Okay, we're just going to go to the end because that's all I care about right here. Come on. Give me the date. Come on. What is the date? Dude, dude, dude. Come on. Be soon. Be soon. Be soon. Don't be like March. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Yo! Dude, that's in like six days! Guys, the wait is finally over. We're gonna be playing Poppy Playtime at Chapter 3 in less than a week! <laughs>